he had that look he had one chance today one chance it wasn't difficult it was in the box three four yards out I don't know maybe slightly more he has to at least fine all right he worked the keeper but he made that easy for the keeper why is he aiming that at the keeper yeah go left go right of the keeper make him actually properly work for it and this is the problem I have right he has no finishing ability his first touch is shocking rapist-esque to be honest it is it is come on let's let, let's have a serious discussion about this because he's not good enough right we've been mentioning it on the channel you know, other clubs are getting players for better money. Moussa Dembele, I think he'd be brilliant here. He's proven himself. Andre Gray, for, for me, he's a seasoned Premier League striker, 26 years old, been on Burnley. He should be tucking away chances but like is that. Is it his fault that he's cost 18 million? Um, I think he's been massively overpriced, yes. I don't, I, again, I don't know what else we, I don't, who else and what else we were linked with. At the moment, I only see Slomani in the next as like the guy that could come in in January. We need a marquee signing, striker, possibly even two. That won't happen until the summer. He had that one chance. He, look, he, look, he has to take that chance. He has to do it. He wasn't at fault for the loss, don't get me wrong. The defence, Prodal, Yamat, shocking. But he has to score. He scores that, like it's 2-0, and that doesn't happen. He has to score it. He has to. Finally, before we move on to Pereira, is that one of the worst signings the Pozos and Ducksbury have made? <laughs> no, there have been there have there have, have been a few. No, in terms more. of the inter, no, in terms of the in terms of the price in and terms, in terms of the price, yeah, I think so because we've paid we've overpaid massively for someone who has no finishing ability. He just doesn't look that bothered either. You know, I've seen him plenty of occasions standing there, hands on his hips. You know, or having a bit of an attitude stroll. You know, I'm sorry if someone like Troy did that, you'd all have a bloody go. First point, if Okaka did that. Everyone would be on his back because it's Andre. Oh no, that's fine. You know, oh no, you know, it's all right. Oh no, oh no, no, we're not playing. Oh, I had booze before he was coming on there today. Booze, yeah, there were booze in the 1881 today, and I think fans are now starting to think, do you know what, this guy doesn't do enough. Yeah, atmosphere is really lacking. We were one nil up. There was just no noise, no real big emphasis. That's and this is kind of the thing, right? When we've got games like this at home, the fans have to be up for it. Mm. There are plenty of times where I've sat where I sit, and not fans are just you know standing there talking about their fucking Christmas dinners. <laughs> You know, what they're doing for New Year's Eve. I don't really give a shit. If you want to talk about that, talk about that before the game, half-time and at full-time. I don't care if your mum didn't turn up for fucking Christmas Day. I don't care, right, if your sister gave you a fucking sock for your bloody Christmas present. I'm here to watch the game of football, right? That's the first point I would make. Secondly as well, it's connected to the fans. Why the... Why is it? Why are we playing Icon of Pop before, <laughs> after, after the montage? Yeah, when it gives you goosebumps, then that comes do, on. Just, yeah, do, just do Techno Coat. And that's, and, that, and that's another thing as well, you know, the fans just don't seem up for it. We're all here to have a fucking picnic and a hot dog, you know. It's not... Oh, so many things really peeve me off, and that's probably one of the things as well, you know. The atmosphere just lacks here as well. And you know what? You said it, I think, sorry, I think Robin said it to me as well. The Swansea fans today, they were really up for it. They sensed the opportunity to get back into the game. They really sensed that. And, you know, when they started having those attacks going forward, they were getting behind the team. Very, very, very minor point I want to make about Marco Silva as well. A bit like the Brighton game. He sat back for... He sat down for the entire game. The entire second half, nothing. He, I think he stood up only to bring on the subs to give them some sort of instructions, right? Whereas I saw Carlos Carvajal at the end edge of his box. All right, fine, it's his first game. I get that, right? But, but there he was, marshalling the troops. His assistants were going mental every time they went forward. You move there, you go there. Yeah. And, you know, and you saw it at the end. 2-1, they went down to go and celebrate with him as well. Because it was that management that he had, you know, to say, do you know what? We're not out of this. Silva just sat there. Was, oh, well, yeah, you know, I don't really care, to be honest. It is, I don't want to say it, but it is almost as if sometimes he just, he just doesn't really care.